In the shadows I was lost Unaware of what the future will cost Caught up in a dangerous game Little did I know My heart will never be the same Innocence collided with mystery He had a past that whispered to me But like Listen a down. moth Thank you very much, sir You asked to see me Yes, sir Go on, I'm listening Um, I came to turn myself in For what offensive, I may ask More than Okay, baby, let me quickly go and get ready for work, huh? You can set the remaining. All right. Okay. But where, where's your food? I've already packed it. <laughs> All right. Embrace 
been ignoring my calls so if I didn't text you you wouldn't have come out right hey come on babe now you know that's not true now look I've just been busy with work and stress for my family oh please spare me that you don't have an excuse hey, you know what yes you're right and I'm sorry okay please forgive me please for me to forgive you we have to spend time together tonight what? Are you mad? What am I supposed to tell my family by, that, that, that I went to by this time of the night? It's very simple. I just have to follow you to your house. Hey. How long do you think I'll be here waiting for you? Look, you need to be patient. Look, things will sort itself out. But it's taking too long. You love me, I know. And I love you too. But how will I just stand and watch another woman enjoy what's mine? I know. Just give me a little bit of time, okay? I need to sort things out with my family and we will be together. Look, I need to move into your house. I want to be close to you. Move into my... Are you crazy? Wait, what is going on in your head? The love I have for you, it's what's going on in my head. I need to move into the house and monitor things for myself and also help you hasten things up. Yeah, but that's not possible. It's not possible in your head, but I like, can make it happen. I mean, you said it's crazy for you to sleep outside your home by this time, but here we are. So don't worry about me moving into your house. I mean, our home. Claudia, let's think of...
are you? I mean, I've checked everywhere in the house. You're not here. You are at the airport by this time of the night. What are you doing there? It doesn't even sound like you're at the airport. Okay, fine. Claudia. Yes, um, she's Claudia, my friend's wife. They're based abroad, but they have a project going on here in Nigeria, I guess. So um, she came to supervise it, but then she got robbed at the airport and they took all her luggage, all they left with her was just her phone. Oh. Yes, which she used in contacting my friend and he called me this morning. Uh, so I had to go. I didn't want to wake you up because it was quite early. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry about that. Yes. Um, so she wanted to actually check in a hotel, but my friend will have to send her money, which she can't pick because she doesn't have documents to collect it. I don't know, she might have to stay with us for a while. Okay, that's fine, babe. That's fine. Um, you're welcome. You can come. Let me show you to the guest room. Thank you so much, ma'am. God bless you. <laughs> As you have offered to help me, God will send you a helper. Thank you. Um, so this is our guest room. Please manage it. I know it smells like your house or your five star hotel that you're used to. But I know it will do. Thank you so much. <laughs> At least now I don't have to pay for space. I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. It's okay, it's okay. God it's bless okay. you and your husband for me. Amen, amen. I'll be right back, huh? Huh? Okay. Make yourself comfortable. I will. Hey, um, so I picked out some things for you to wear, at least until you get yours. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of this. Oh, your husband is so lucky to have met you when he did. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I hope they fit you though. Um, let me go make some breakfast. Okay, so, thank you. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, little one. How are you? My name is Claudia, but you can call me Auntie Claudia. Oh, that's such a beautiful name. There you go. Uh, I think I would have human exhaust. I don't oh. think there's any left. Okay. Can we manage yours? Uh, I'm not really a heavy eater, but I have this love for yam. Um, I think there's some left in the pot. Let me go get that for you. Thank you.
and then foods. The foods are for sale uh -huh. in the markets. The woman is a trader. Trader. Uh -huh. That's people that sell stuff. They are called traders. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's do this one. I'm Claudia. Has your husband called yet? Oh no, he hasn't. He must be busy at work. Oh. I came to see Lauren. Do you need anything? Well, I needed some toiletries, so I was wondering if you can walk me to the mall. Um, okay, just give me a second. Okay. Um, James, pack up your things and go upstairs, okay? Um, just get back to you when I return. Um, do you want us to drive? Why don't we just walk? I mean, it's weekend and the mall is just around. Okay, okay, cool. Baby, do you have your ATM here? Oh, okay, I'll just use mine then. Let's go. Give me this. Just watch it. Hi, honey. Your friend's wife is not going to kill me. I mean, she's been making me laugh all day. She's been like making me laugh like a fool everywhere. But, but I'm actually telling the truth now. Mm. Our brother, if you ask for a description of a place, they'll just give you a straight address. Well, ask for a description in Nigeria, they will not give you an address. They'll be like, if you walk up past this transformer, you will see a woman that is selling a car. Walk up past that woman, take your next left. After the left, take your right. Like, what? On top small address. They'll say, they never finish you. They'll be like, after the next right, you see where they are dumping dust in. Where did they shit for road time? No, no, they shit. They'll just walk up straight. But look, I said, no, man, you shit. Please stop. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I asked for a simple address. Like, you're telling me not today. Because I'm making me laugh.
doing here? I want to spend time with you. That's how the quality time has been spent with your wife. Oh. The most important thing is that I'm here now. Huh? Or you and I go. Oh, I should go. All right. Go where? Stop. Come here. What are you doing in our room by this time of the night? Um, a husband called. Um, you know how all this time zone thing between the US and Nigeria is? Like, so he called, he said he's been trying to reach her and he couldn't, so I went to give her the phone. Okay, I mean, I woke up and I couldn't find you. I didn't know where you went to, so I came to look for you. Oh, I'm fine. Come fine. to bed. I'm so sorry, my darling, but my husband doesn't eat food that is cooked by my husband. Hmm? But since you're here, we can make the jello fries together. Okay. Yeah? So we fast out that way. Okay. Can you grab me some oil there? Oh, sure. Right.
Yes, but I can't seem to find my car keys. Oh, Claudia went out with the car. She took Jay out. You're back. <laughs> hey. How are you? Hi, Bobo. Hi, how are you? Good. I want to get brought to me um, ice cream. Auntie bought you ice cream? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you so much, Claudia. Okay, let's go up so that I can freshen you up. So that's how you collected your number. You know men and number collection. He took my number and called me every single day. So that makes us love at first sight. Exactly. Love at first sight. He is such a romantic guy. <laughs> the first time we made love together. Mm. Yes, we did. <laughs> but the second time, girl, he showed me his true colors very well. <laughs> It makes me always want to be with him. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to spend the rest of my life with him. And here we are now. Kind of reminds me of me and Dave. From the moment we saw ourselves, we knew it was love at first sight. And he's treated me like a queen ever since then. <laughs> oh. So what do you see your love in 10 years? Um... Stronger, I guess. Stronger than now. I mean, we've been married for so long and we've had some setbacks, but we always make sure that we come out stronger and better. So, you really love him, right? Oh, yes, I do. Right, baby? What? I said I love you. I love you too, baby. You love her, don't you? How could you even say that in my presence? Calm down. Claudia, calm down. She's playing a game. Don't let her get into your head. Look, she just wants to feel relevant. She wants you to feel like we are happy. 
and she's getting to you. She's playing a game and she's cunning. Look, Dave, I came here to help you break up with her. So don't give me the impression that I have to break your head first. Calm down. Okay, just calm down. No, this won't happen again. It's I promise. Fine, not. Good, so I need to leave. Spend the night with me. I need you. That's not possible. Let's not blow this thing up yet. Meaning what? Meaning I can't. Oh, you will. Dave, you will. So, uh, yes, I understand. I am, <laughs> I've also been thinking of talking to one of the teachers in the school as well, so see if they could maybe come take him private lessons. That way you'll be relieved of some of the stress. Hmm, that would be a very good idea. It is. I come in. Oh, hey. Oh, there, it's you. Yes, I brought you juice because I know that you don't like coffee, so coffee for Dave and juice for you. Oh, that's so thoughtful. You're welcome. I mean, I was going to come down, but because I wanted to watch a program of mine later. But thank you so much. This will keep me busy. <laughs> All right, let me leave you two love to have your fun moment. Baby, isn't she just so thoughtful? Like, I mean, she's so nice, she's sweet, she's caring. <laughs> ah, her husband must be really, really, really lucky. And guess wow. what? She's not really funny. <laughs> yes. She makes me laugh. <laughs> she's actually a very sweet person. I know. And she's nice to everyone, you know. She tries to, like, bring everyone, make them feel comfortable, and just help out whichever way she likes. You know, it's even how she's so close to Jay that baffles me. Like, Jay literally wants to be wherever she is. And then she's so funny, as you said. Like, she just helps out with her sweet words that just comes pressing down. Hey. Like she... Isn't that too much praise? I mean, that's another man's wife. I was actually just following up on what she started. Yeah, fine, fine. Enough about Claudia. Get me the juice, please. So, about the tutor, 4J, and, uh, I wonder when my program is starting. I can't wait. Hey. Thank is you. Is this too much? No, it's fine. You know, you're not supposed to do too much sugar. Come on, babe. It's just a glass of juice. Yeah, I know. It is. So just teacher, tell you like the idea. Of course, of course. I mean, like you said, it's a relieve me stress. And even if this building collapses right now, she would not wake up. I give her something that will keep her in a very deep sleep. What? Why would you do a thing like that? She's my wife who give you the right to do that. The right you give to me as your woman. Look, I want you all to myself tonight. I don't want to share you ever with her. The coffee I gave you will make you really, really hard for me tonight. And I don't have time to waste. What did you put in my coffee? What did you do? What's going on? Dave, I want you here and now. And nothing would give me more joy than making love to you right here next to your wife.
the shadows I was lost Unaware of what the future will cost Caught up in a dangerous game Little did I know My heart will never be the same Innocence collided with mystery He had a past that whispered to me But like a moth drawn to the flame I couldn't resist when he called my name Falling in love with a criminal The danger felt so ethereal Though our love was forbidden I wish I could still be in love But my heart is unforgiven Secrets concealed, but I was blind to the darkness he revealed. His touch like bittersweet addiction. Each moment spent with him, a welcome addiction. The dust and the air. Oh my god, yeah. Where is everyone? Good morning. Yeah. I saw that you were still sleeping, so. I made breakfast and Jay has gone to school and Dave is off to work. Thank you so much. I have this crazy headache and I'm not feeling too well at all. Okay, then why don't you just go to the room and I'll make you something to drink. I have to go to work. I'm late as it is. But you just said that you're not feeling well, so why don't you just call in sick? I think you're right, actually. Let me go and make that call, because I'm not really feeling too well at all. Okay, I'll make you something to soothe your headache, okay? Just go okay. to the room and I'll join you shortly. All right, thank you. And somehow, I even to set him free. Forbidden. I wish I could still be in love, but my heart is unforgiven. My heart is unforgiven. My heart's so unforgiven. Yeah. I wish I could still be in love, but my heart is unforgiven. Falling in love with a criminal. Back. Yeah. How are you feeling now? Um, I don't know. I feel much better though. Thanks to Claudia. I mean, she's been taking care of me. Well, what exactly is the problem? I woke you up in the morning and you said I should just go ahead, that you have a headache. <sighs> we I don't understand my sister. I'm having these headaches and I'm feeling really weak. 
I mean, Claudia says I need to rest, but I've been resting. I guess I'm feeling much better. How's work? Just fine. But don't stress yourself about work now. I just want you to rest mm -hmm. and regain yourself, okay? So he came back from work. He did not see me. He's there hugging that stupid woman. And yet he claims there's no love between them. I, I'm even here texting him and he's not replying me. What is wrong with Dave for crying out loud? I'll go there and tell them. Up. Okay. Better still, you know, maybe you should just run. Rest properly. How is she doing? I came to check on her. She's sleeping. I brought her water. When she wakes up, she can have it. Why have you refused to reply my text? I thought you would never come to see me. What did you give to my wife? Why is she still sick? I, I just gave her a little sleeping medicine. Maybe a little overdose. Overdose? Do you know that could have an adverse effect on her health? And what do you care? You don't love her anymore, right? She doesn't treat you right, Abby. So why are you being overly protective of her? Hey, hey, just watch it. Did you hear me? Watch it. And look. If something happens to my wife, you will get it hot from me. Did you hear me? I won't take it lightly with you if she does not wake up well. So pray, that's if you know how to pray, pray that she wakes up fine and quickly. What happened? What is wrong with Dave? Why would he talk to me like that? Sweet wife. Thank you. I love you so much. Yeah. Happy birthday, Lauren. Thank you, Claudia. I really, really appreciate it. You this. Thank you. And. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. 
Let me take pictures for you guys. You guys look so lovely. Oh, Come on, give me your phone. You. <laughs> oh, sure. Okay. Say cheese, guys. Cheese. Oh, no, 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 you guys look so lovely. Say it again. <laughs> the both of you, Abby. And yet here you are singing her praises of how good of a wife and mother she is, how loving and caring she can be, and how much you love her. And yet you want me to believe that you love me. Why are you acting so childish? <laughs> all these things that you're saying are all just make-believe. We just want people to think that things are good when in real sense they are not. Right? We're just trying to paint a perfect picture, that's all. But what you're saying to me does not look like what I'm seeing here. I feel like I'm being used. Hey, come on. Don't make things look different. No. We both know that's not true. I would only start believing what you're saying when your actions start telling with your words. I mean, you, you told me that she's not a good wife, but what I'm seeing here is totally different. Yeah, I know. Okay, so calm down, baby. I will not be calm. Now, let me warn you, Dave. If I as much as later discover that you're using me, you'll be shocked by my actions because what I'll do to you will so shock you that you will never forget it. I don't believe all these things that you're saying. All right, look, all you just need is just to be patient, just a little bit of patience, and everything will be fine. Just a little patience. What do you think, Claudia? Is it not true? Huh? <laughs> well, if you want another baby, then I guess you have to get another baby. <laughs> Are you happy now? Okay, so like you don't want the same. Colin, are you okay? Dave, what was the meaning of that drama at the dining just now? What is wrong with you? Wait. My wife said she wants a baby, and I promised to give her one. But in the spirit of celebrating her birthday, what's wrong with that? Dave, everything is wrong with that. How could you say that in my presence? Look, babe, if anyone should give you your next child, it should be me. I know that thing you call a wife. Uh, how dare you call my wife that? How dare you use such a word on her? She brought you into this house and you dare use such a word on her? Are you sick? Listen, if you dare try this again, if you try it again, I'll be with you. What just, what just happened? Wait, wait, wait. Are my eyes deceiving me or what? Dave, just want me? Claudia. Because of that thing he calls a wife? Hey, God. Oh, Claudia, can you just read the handwritings on the wall? Dave is using you. No, no way. Dave cannot do that. He dares not. 
Because before he does that, I will hit him hard. just been so confused because I've just been seeing so many places. Do you mm. have any idea? Mm. How about France? We could go to Paris, the city of love. Maybe we already went there now. We went there two years ago. Oh shoot. How did I even forget that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Italy. Italy? <sighs> no, I don't like Italy. But you like pasta, like <laughs> pizza and gelato. You don't want. I know. That. I don't want to go to Italy. <laughs> not now. Mm. Okay. Well, if you do not like Italy, you've got to like. Uh, come on, guy, crack it. There, Australia. Hmm. What do you think? I think Australia is not bad. See, my friend went to Australia actually, and she said it was nice. I think Australia right. is not bad. Okay. Oh, that's a nice choice. Yeah. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Let me go and call her. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right. Finally. <laughs> Australia it is. You should thank me with something. <laughs> I came up with the idea. Hello, Eric. What's up? I'm fine now. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, she's fine. So, um, <clears throat> I want you to help me process a family vacation. Yeah. No, just um, two weeks. Australia. I know, right? My wife wants Australia, so Australia it is. I. Uh, now, just um, me, my wife, and my kid. The three of us, of course, will. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I need it, I'll say, in a few days. No, bro, really, it has to be in a few days. All right. Uh, okay. So, send me the bill, okay? All right. to make a quick trip to Lokoja this morning. Oh, and you're just telling us? My darling, it's not like that. I just got a call this morning that my sister is sick. So I just want to use this opportunity to spend some days with her before my husband comes next month. Okay. Oh, well then. I'm sorry about your sister's illness. We'll miss you. Baby, why don't you take her to the park while I drop you at school? Yeah? Can okay, I then. quickly get your breakfast as well? Hmm? Right. I'll get my things. All right. Hi. Hey. Adi, good morning. Good morning, dear. Um, your madam will not be home early today, so I decided to Bring your food before leaving since I will be going out as well. Ah, Auntie, thank you very much. God bless you. Ah, Auntie, God bless you. Um, I will not be home for some days, so enjoy. Wow. See the travel? Yes. Try. I will miss you, Auntie. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you.
Is something wrong with the car? You said you're going to your sister's place at Lokoja. We both know there's no one like that, so... What's the problem? Where are you going to? Fine. The truth is that I'm going to my house. I want to be alone. My head is... My head is filled with a lot of things, so I need some thinking space, and... I just want to put myself together again. Wow. Now you're talking. That's my girl. So, will you want me to come join you later? Oh, please. I have a lot of things to do, including cleaning. But if if I don't finish early enough, I would we would just spend the time together at our usual hotel. But that's if it's okay with you. Yeah, sure. You know what? I'll just go to the office right now, okay? Then maybe I'll call you later to know what you've done and if you still need my assistance. But... <laughs> okay. So we'll just spend today at the hotel. Then I can go to my place tomorrow. So, you get to the office and finish work while I go clean my place. Fine, sure. Can you drive now that you know the truth? Of course. <laughs> by this time of the day. Everyone to open the gate myself. Ha! Where is my son? He's not is back, he back from school. He's not back. I didn't see he turned back from school. How? Okay, let me call the bus driver. Hello? Yeah, I just spoke to my security guy now. My son is not home. What's the problem? Did your tire break down or what? Oh, but I just asked my security now and he said he's not home. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. They said they dropped him home. I didn't see him coming back. You can call Ogana and ask if he's with him. What time do you receive him at home? 3.30 p.m. But I've not seen him today as I was sleeping. That was why I said he has, he's not yet back from school. And I can't say he's back when he's not back. Madam, we have to wait for your husband to get back before we can do anything about it. Officer, I've been calling my husband and he's not picking. I'm really, really, really worried because the bus driver said he dropped him here and the teacher also confirmed that the kid was dropped here. Yeah. Madam, relax. I mean, the only explanation here is that the boy in question could just be with your husband. I mean, he's a very busy man. Just, just have a little patience. I should have patience when my son is missing. Madam, you can't declare him missing not until after 24 hours. Until then, 
let's keep our fingers crossed and put him in prayers that nothing happens to him. Officers, can't we at least search for him? Eh? The fact that he's not here, it means that something is definitely wrong. Madam, we have to wait until after 24 hours before we can do anything about it. You said you called your husband and he didn't pick your calls. The man might be a busy man and he's probably having some good time with his son. calls from my wife for her needs. Oh, sorry, Lauren. I need to rush home. I thought you were going to spend the night. No, I didn't give any reason why I'll stay out. Okay? So I'll make plans for that tomorrow, okay? Alright. Call me later. I've been calling you all day. Well, I tried to call you too as well, but your number wasn't reachable. I stepped out of my office for a meeting. All day? Where's Jay? What kind of crazy person is that? Is he not supposed to be in this house? <gasps> Dave, our son is missing! What nonsense is that? How can my son be missing? What are you saying? You being serious? I called the police already and they said they couldn't file for a case until, unless it's 24 hours. Wait, you're serious? My son is missing. That's crazy I talk. don't know. Just do something. I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. My son is missing and you're telling me about 24 hours. What kind of rubbish talk is that? Officer, officer, what are you saying? What are you saying? Please, will you just come to my house right now? Please! What are you saying 24 hours? Are you listening to yourself? This boy is still very small. Four years. What are you saying? The mom is here, the dad is here. Where else would he be? He's not at home. He's missing. Would you please come to the house and do your damn job? Look, officer, 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 officer. I want you to come to the house now, please. Please. man said he was asleep around that time and he didn't see him come in or go out some of the kids in the bus confirmed seeing him walk in the compound now what this simply means is that your security man is hiding something who is that and allow them to do their work while we pray, okay? Anyways, where's your sister? The one that lives with you. My sister? Yes. The fair one. Oh, it's Claudia. Yes. She's not around. She traveled. Traveled? When? Is it this morning? Yesterday. She traveled yesterday morning. That's not possible. I saw her yesterday afternoon when she came to pick up Jay. I tried working at her, but she did not see me. Oh, that's not possible no. because... I know what I saw. Uh, um, um, Claudia left in the morning when we were going to work. So I'm sure that's not possible. I am not too old not to know what I saw. She came in at about 3.30 to 4 and she left with the kid still in his school uniform. I thought they had returned before they went missing. Are you sure? Look, officer, yes, officer, please. I am. Let's not waste our time. She does, she's lying. She does not know what she's saying. 
And how do you know that? Oh, babe, because I was obviously with Claudia the whole of yesterday. What? You were with who? Um, look, I was just... Sir, just... you said you were with her throughout yesterday. Well, it was a slip of tongue. All right, what I was trying to say is that I took her to the park, right? And I watched her leave, so that's how I know that she doesn't know what she's saying. Dave! I heard you clearly. Now tell me what happened to my son, and how do you know that Bosse here is lying? Oh God, Dave, this is your son we are talking about here. Tell us the truth. Were you with her yesterday? Look, officer, yes. Okay. Yes, I was with her. All right, but then, that's how I know that she does not know what she's saying. Okay, in short, you know what? I'll just call her so that you guys can see that she's definitely Give me not that there. phone. You're not calling her. What? You're taking me to that place. Taking us there immediately. Let's go. Take me to my son. Suspected kidnapping. Kidnapping of who? You would have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say will be used against you in the court of law. Please, take her. What's my thing? Let's go. Move. Lead the way. Where's my son? Move. Where's my son? Where's my son?
which you are pure evil. You are the evil one here, Dave. You used me. You told me all sorts of bad things about your wife. How she wasn't good for you. How you wanted to divorce and get married to me. How she doesn't sleep with you and every other rubbish. But when I came to your house, I saw the exact opposite. You had such a happy family. Everything was just perfect. And your wife was such an angel and you treated her like a queen while giving me false hope on the side. Dave, you used me. And I don't mind spending the rest of my life in jail for what you did to me. I had four abortions for you. Four! Simply because you claim not to be ready yet. And with the rubbish of not wanting me to give you a child out of wedlock. Now all of a sudden you want your useless wife to give you a second child. You were even planning a vacation to Australia with your entire family. And you thought I would just sit and do nothing? Yes, I used you. I am happy with my family and wife. Yeah. But what did you expect? That I would leave my perfect home for you. <laughs> I am just like every married man out there. Who wants to sleep with another woman? I tell you what you want to hear. And you open your legs. And you fell for it. Only a fool. A big fool. Will believe that a man will divorce his wife. And marry you. I'm sorry. But I am not to blame for your foolery. True. You are not to be blamed. Which is why I have settled scores the best way I know it. What did you do? You have lost the most precious thing in your life. What did you do? And whenever you think about it, you will remember me. What did hey! you do? Sit down, sir. What? You are in the police station. Ah! Whoa. Baby. I'm so sorry for what my mistake has cost this family. I just wanted to do what my friends were doing. You know, whenever we sit out, they, they always have girls come around. And at some point it got to me. I just wanted to feel among. That was how Claudia came into the picture. I'm so sorry for bringing Claudia into our matrimonial home. She had a lot on me and she wanted be she wanted to be close to me and and I was really, really sorry, babe. The fact is I still do love you, babe. You and Jay, both of you mean the world to me. I would do anything. Anything. To, to atone for this mistake. Please, baby. Please, I beg you. I beg you to forgive me. Please. Baby. Silence. Are you forgiving me now? What do I stand to gain if I don't? Thank you. Thank you very much, baby. Look, I know I do not deserve your forgiveness. I messed up really bad. repeat itself.
It's fine, just eat your food. Thank you. from me as a wife have I not given to you I gave you a son I gave you a happy home I loved you uncontrollably what do you want from me that I have not done So cheating on me secretly was not good enough. You had to bring her into my home. You made her kill my son under my nose. What did I do wrong? What? <sighs> Dave, how do you expect me to go on living? Knowing fully well that your mistake has cost me my son. My priceless son. <laughs> Dave, there's no justification for what you have done. None. <laughs> they say an eye for an eye will make the world go blind I would rather my eyes close than to behold this evil of a world if I gave you a beautiful home we were happy Dave but you had to ruin it you had to ruin it with your stupidity and your useless quest. <laughs> Dave, I lost today. I lost my love. I lost my peace and my sanity. You will pay for what you did to my son. You have to. So, DPO, where is my cell? Hello. Did you find the body? Thank you. You're under arrest, Mrs. Lauren Dave Badmus, for the murder of your husband, Mr. Dave Badmus. <laughs> Thank you.
Hello, babe. Where are you? You're not in the house. You're at the airport. By this time of the night. <sighs> Baby, it doesn't even sound like you're at the airport. Okay. Bye. Why does this feel like my dream? Who is she? Good morning. My name is Claudia. Yes, babe, she's Claudia. She's my friend's wife. They are based abroad and uh, they have a project going on here in Nigeria, which is why she actually came back. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, she got robbed at the airport of her luggage. They took everything from her, just her handbag and her phone, which was what she used to call my friend. And he then called me. I, that's why I had to run off. It was quite early. That's why I didn't want to wake you up. <laughs> Dave. Yes? Do you think I'm a fool? How do you mean? Is this how much you hate me and this family? Babe. Don't you dare babe me! Don't you dare! So you had the audacity to bring your side chick to this house under the pretense of your friend's wife. Dave! What, what do you mean by that? Are you still here? Or do you think I'm joking? My friend will get out of my house! Get out! Get out! Get out! Babe, babe, what are you saying? Thank God. Thank God that God has opened my eyes to see the evil that you are as a person. But for the purpose of my peace and safety and that of my child, Dave, this marriage is over. This marriage is over between me and you. Come, babe, come, 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 babe. So this has been your plan, right? No. You told your wife everything. I didn't tell her anything. Okay? I'm as shocked as you. 
So how do you expect me to believe you? You don't have to believe anything I say right now. But I think someone fed my wife with information. And I need to manage the situation. I need you to go home. But, but why? No, please. Okay, just go home. for me that I haven't given to you. I've given you a son. I have loved you unconditionally. Yet, you brought her into our home. She even killed my son right under my nose. Killed your son? Our son? Hey, what are you saying? Are you okay? I am not cheating on you, okay? Put yourself together. Come watch yourself. If you're bold enough to bring her to this house, then you should be at least bold enough to tell the truth, Dave. We had something good going on here. You just had to go and ruin it. You know what? Before you ruin it any further, Jay and I are leaving. No, 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 baby, wait, okay, wait, wait, I'm sorry. You're not wrong, you're not wrong. Yes, yes, babe. You're right. I, I, I was cheating, I was cheating on you with her, I was cheating. Okay, look, I, I was just fooling around, but it has ended right now. I swear, it is ending, I will end it, I've ended it. Please, please, babe, please, please. Don't leave me, I beg you, don't. Don't leave me, please. Dave. No, 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 baby, please, I beg you. It is too late for that now. No, no, please. It's too late. No. no. You did what they say is true. That in every happy marriage, one day a man can wake up one morning and decide to ruin it. Yeah. And you've just done that. No. Because now I have seen it. No. No. No, please. <laughs> Wait, baby, wait, please now, please. I beg you, wait. No. This, babe. Are you crazy? Are you mad? Don't you fucking come me. In the shadows, I was lost. Unaware of what the future will hold. Caught up in a dangerous game Little did I know My heart will never be the same Innocent collided with mystery He had a past that whispered to me But like a moth drawn to the flame I couldn't resist when he called my name Falling in love with a criminal A danger felt so ethereal You're playing with fire, Dave. And I will bring you down with me. Please, I need that house by tomorrow. If you cannot deliver, then let me know so that I can find somebody else. Okay, thank you. I'll be expecting your call. Hey, babe. Are you still planning to leave? Please, you don't have to leave. Okay? We can sort this out, babe. Babe. Babe, we can sort this thing out. Hey, 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 
Can you stop calling me? Please, leave my life alone. Okay, please. Look, I'm done. I'm done. What we had was a mistake. I cannot lose my family because of you. So please, I beg you, in the name of God, stop calling my phone. You're driving me crazy. Please. Stop. How dare you come into my house and slap me? Are you stupid? Yes, I'm mad. Your actions are finally driving me insane. So all of a sudden now you want to be with your wife, right? The same woman you said that doesn't treat you right. Well, I lied. Okay, I lied. Is that fine? I lied to get into your pants. How could you? Dave, how could you say that to my face? After making me a born children for you? How? Oh, that's because you're a fool. You're a fool to believe that I would leave my family for you. Use Flash. I will give my life for them. Are you sure about that? Yes. Then so be it. Oh. Um. Let it be okay. We'll talk better when we get home. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you're not leaving me? No. But we, we have a lot to talk about. And we need to make some adjustments. Okay? Anything. Anything to keep you in or anything. Also, Claudia has been caught. She's been arrested. She was in jail. Maybe. Thank you. Thank you so much for considering. Look, I promise. This will never be so. I hope so too. Falling in love with a criminal 